Hey everyone! As you now know, GoSady is a platform for designers. And while we're here in Rhinebeck, we thought what better way to highlight those designers than to find out what everyone is wearing and who designed it. We're excited to bring the community together because community is what GoSady is all about. So let's go check it out. This is Sheree Creo. He's got the big, smaller to keep And this is what I live in. This is the Saugerties cardigan. And it's got big, deep pockets, and it's just like a big old warm one. Three months, we have a bowl. And toppy whistle. So I'm wearing the tessellated vest. And this is knit up in moon gray kua kua, which is this beautiful little fuzzy. And the, it's yarn snob, uh, also known as Keith Letter. And I just love it. This is my Andrew Bowers mosaic name. Okay. And this is made in that high fiber for the blue and it's been cycled for the pink. This is my February Lady sweater. Yeah. Yeah. I started it 10 years ago, <laughs> but it's done now. This is the Akiko shawl. I uh, uh, spun right round and bumblebee acres. It is a beautiful puff stitch pattern in crochet because it's the best. And then this is the Who's There sweater by Just the Worsted. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Ivy and I are both wearing uh, the Chauncey sweater by Miss Swish in black. The contrasting colors are five fingering weight yarns by Seismic Yarns, three by Luminous Purple, and then the darkest purple is not a hedgehog fiber. I just finished it and wrote me the end of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I dyed this yarn myself. Oh my god! I dyed 
So this is a sweater of my own design. It is not out yet, but I'm excited to do it because I'm doing a couple of different samples and versions. But it's a crocheted top um, and it's very, very approachable, very easy to customize. The yarn that I use in this sample is Ryan Yarns. He's a dyer in Athens, Georgia. Yeah, and I finally got some nice, creamy, like, milky buttons. I didn't want neon buttons. Oh, yeah. Maybe not neon on neon. Yeah. The green is spectacular decay in uh, Just Add Salt. The gray is unfortunately a discontinued yarn from Mad Tosh, Tosh Sock, in the Colorway Graveyard. This is the Persuasion Pullover. It's part of the Skinanigans Deception and Persuasion pattern. Yarn is like a whole mess of different things. So this is a mellow kitty the cheap song. And it's done, of course, in kitty-inspired yarn. So this is a main color kitty, and then a nice little eye color inspired packs that I have. And it's, it's really fun because my next friend, Christina, made this for me and left it on my porch so that I would have a fun sweater. So, <laughs> here we are. I made a KTV's Oh, it's better. It's Okay. The yarn is actually for my own sheep, and this is the first time that we have milled it and processed it. It's really special for, for a special yarn. Day. I made a sweater from Luffy Mango. I have their book, and I have the yarns, and I have the uh, pattern, so it's called Luffy Mango. So this is the Lao sweater? Lao Lao, F-L-A-U-M. It's not Lao. Yeah, do a whole Great color, what yarn do you need? This guy, and I need to double check that for. Yeah, of course. This is the Lady Violet sweater. Again, it's twin set and And the yarn is I got to be hurt today. Okay. It's all called full circle. Yeah. We're wearing twins. It's very on brand. So we made the Only Murders in the Building sweater. Yeah. It is a collab pattern workshop that Cheryl Kubat did with Nicola. Nicola's yarn, hand spun, my own hand spun, um, Chelsea Lux, Blue Play, and Shing Fibers. <laughs> yes, please squish me. Yes. <laughs> Mine no. is all mohair and hand spun fiber and some neck. This is the Douglas Party. It's an Andrew Mowry pattern. I got this yarn from Green Mountain Spinnery two years ago. And then the buttons from the Icelandic people across from them. This is the Cake Fridge hat. It's new from Gudrun Johnston and Mary Jane Wilson's book. I test knit for Gudrun, so the book just came out Friday, but I got this for my Nice. What does the Lily Thistle will do? We are an online yarn shop based in New Hampshire. We mostly specialize in European, British, um, woolly wools, 
breed specific, unprocessed kind of stuff. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> but I made to wear it. It's a beautiful healthy sweater with a tennis fiber arts rainbow yo and a charcoal body. And uh, it's it's beautiful. Okay, great passes, terrific yarn. Finished it. Uh, and it is uh, not what I'm wearing because it's wet and dripping because I didn't make the deadline. So what I'm wearing now is calliope. Uh, I made a uh, rainbow. I love making it. I love doing weird modular knits. And this, you knit this first and block it, and then pick up and do the rest of the sweater, and then meet around here. So it's a really cool knit. I used Parisville night sheets. Uh, sock set just up. I started this sweater more than five years ago. I'm a very, very slow knitter who gets mad at things and puts them away. I finally finished it literally this week. It is the Le Poof Party that Hedgehog Fibers has on their website. I spent a while collecting basically different like black and gray and uh, white speckles. Didn't have enough so I did red cuffs just because that's so fun. And this is the spring cat. It's like a whole set. It's like a botanical book of botanical patterns. This is the favorite sweater. So this, I started knitting the cluster. Days ago, and I realized I had no nowhere. Stop! Um, of course! Oh, I'm <laughs> totally squishable. So yeah, this is my, my baby for the weekend. So, no pattern, I'm assuming? No pattern. She made it. Yes? <laughs> yes. And then, what yarn did you use? Um, so I do use a mixture of knit gouache, so I have some spun cloud and multiple colors, as well as the blue right in here. And then I have from Melanie Velvet Bay, one of her. <laughs> so mine is kind of like a reworked knit collage pattern. It's the Dreamland party, but I changed it kind of completely. Majority, my hand spun and hand dyed yarn. Um, and then I have some locks from Ashley. Um, and then I have... What else is in here? I don't even know. All the things. Honestly, it's just all the things. Yeah, it's all the things. Yeah. <laughs> And this one is by Tracy Mustard. She lives in the UK. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah so pretty. We made 40 from Moon and Turtle. And we did opposites in Peace Fleece, which is what we use in the book. And so she's a girl and I'm a yellow girl. And this is what we I have maple seed skirt. Wonderful, fun, twirly skirt. And who designed it? I did. And what yarn is it made in? Malabrigo Rios, uh, the colorway is Siri. This skirt is also in, in tandem zine. <laughs> Perfect. I made a shawl that took me forever and ever and ever. And um, it was my building a business shawl. Oh, so wow. that's what I, yeah, 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 yeah. I started knitting this when I was building out my business. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. A million and one it's yards, another. yes. <laughs> it's also the Wakanda scarf. Um, oh, yeah. From the movie. From the movie. Yeah. And so I use different colors, but yeah, so this is my version of that. Mm -hmm. I made a sweater. This was for modern daily knitting. They had a sweater where you could sort of make, choose your own elements along the way. And That's I had nice. a bunch of uh, loopy yarn that I bought in Iceland. Oh, wow. So and I wanted to use all. it up. And this I actually saw last year here, and I made it. It's a robin sweater. I forget the name of the company, but they're in there. And when I stopped by, they said, oh, you're wearing our sweater. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. It is. Yeah. It is so comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really great.